Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Monday's What's Sold Over the Weekend. And man, is it a lot. We're going to be here for a while. Everybody get a snack. Get yourself a some, coffee. Something to drink. And uh, buckle in. <laughs> okay, we've already pulled the items. Yes. Uh, we're full-time resellers from Dallas, Texas. If it's your first time here. Welcome to our channel. We're here every day shipping with you. Yes. Okay. Uh, we are going to we're going to start Poshmark. Yeah. We actually sold a bunch of stuff on Poshmark. 11 over the things on Poshmark. Man, that is a recent record, I believe. <laughs> yes. No, really. It's been a while since we've sold that much. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to start off with these two right here, I think. Okay. These are Lane Bryant pants. Yes. One is a pair of jeans and the other is a chino pair. Okay. We're going to start with... Oh, no. They're dress pants. I'm sorry. So we have jeans and dress pants. Start with the jeans. Okay. These are going to the same buyer. Yes. And we did attempt to bundle them and... That was they weren't having it. They weren't having it. <laughs> so we just took the offers. Hey. All right. All right. So Ooh. this first pair is uh, normally we pay because Lane Bryant has sales a lot. And so you can kind of get Lane Bryant stuff pretty cheap on your own at the store. So we don't price it too high. And we only buy it if we can get it for under a dollar, you know, at the bins or something like that. Right. So these jeans sold for. Right. $21, and so did these dress pants. Both sold for $21 each. Awesome. I think that's good. Yeah, it's pretty great. So um, Poshmark, anything we ship out on Poshmark, we try to use... Oh, I should have replaced them. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, friends. We try to use these free um, priority mail shipping supplies um, because Poshmark will let you ship uh, in any kind of priority mail packaging. So it's really, really easy. Uh, we also find with Lane Bryan that the pants do better than the tops. Yeah. People know the, they all have like a model, like the alley or something like that. And people know which size they wear in those models. So it's easy for them to buy them online. Love that. So I would say if you're gonna experiment with Lane Bryant, try the pants first. Good tip. Also, we have a lot of new subscribers. Thank you. Know that we ship everything in real time and we try to give you tips along the way. So it is a long haul, but we're happy to have you here. And hopefully you learn something. Thumbs up if you do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, these are, uh, they're actually not coral. I, you know, they're more of a dusty pink. Anyway, they're dress pants. These are the alley pants. We sell these a lot. Like when I say that, we've been selling for, reselling for four years and we've probably sold 20 pairs yeah, of but, this style. But we only, like, we only picked these up on the super cheap. We paid a dollar for these. Yep. So. Where's my pen? Do you need this one? Don't click it. I already did. All right, 4530. This is a little what, a sports sack crossbody bag. Look at that, 4530 and 31 sold. Huh. I know, right? Crazy. Hmm. Hmm. This says it was free. Yeah, we did. We got this from our neighbor. This is, you just sealed it up in here. No, I didn't. I just taped it. Huh? This is Lay Sports Sack. You know what I'm talking about? They were kind of popular back in the day. Uh, I will sell these if we get them for free. I don't know that I would pick it up. It did sell for $24 though. And I don't know what is going on with purses right now, but every single purse we list sells. We can't keep it's, them in stock. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like even this, I didn't think this would sell for a very long time and it sold actually quite quickly. Like within a week. I don't know. Y'all, it's this. Where's the little logo? I want to show you the logo. Y'all, I can't hold, hold this for me. Hold that for me, yeah. Right there? Yeah, I can't, the logo's not coming through because it's black on black, you know? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a tough one. Ah, that's well, a it's kinda, tough it's one. It's kind of in there, though. Get in there. You guys can see it? Cool. So, 24 bucks. I'm not, I'm not mad at that at all. No, not at all. Do you want to put this in a little, yeah, that's yeah. I mean, in a little poly or just nah. It's like waterproof, you know, it's yeah. nylon or whatever. So I was, I was really surprised that that sold as fast as it did. I'm not going to tell you that it's a bolo and go buy one, everyone you see, <laughs> but maybe consider it. Or at least, at least look it up. There you go. That's, how many times are you going to say that in the video? At least look it up. We believe that you should look up everything. Well, that's our new thing. We're really trying to 
be better. You're doing great at it. I'm trying to be better about it. <laughs> and some people in our Facebook group are trying it too, meaning yeah. that they don't buy anything that they don't look up to make sure they're sold. Like if you go to eBay and you or Poshmark and you look at the sold listings, make sure there are sold listings of anything that you're trying to buy. We have a very large stack over here. All right, what's happening? This is... This is a Ralph Lo Lo wait, mm -hmm. Lauren Ralph Lauren right. sport coat. Uh, right. Anything that is like what you would consider if you're not a menswear seller a suit coat, it's called a sport coat if it doesn't have pants. Right. That's what we mean when we say sport coat. And this is, so Lauren Ralph Lauren is usually the, the green label like this. Noise. Um... It does okay. I mean, this one sold for what? Mm, 20 bucks. Yeah, we've had it a, a, a heck long of a time. long time. And yeah. so we were like, you know what? This was probably not the best buy. How much should we pay for it? 450 Ooh. Yeah. See, we didn't look it up. If we had looked up Lauren Ralph Lauren in this color, this taupe color. So a tan suit now. Yeah. Tan suit's really hot right now. Obama wore a tan suit like many years ago, and all of, since then, tan suits are in. But this doesn't have pants with it. Nope. So I'm not sure that, like, you can't wear your khaki pants with this. <laughs> no. you be, you I guess you could wear, wear navy. You gotta wear navy or something, yeah. Anyway, it was on Poshmark. We've had it a long time. We let it go. Yep. I don't I don't really pick this brand up anymore because the, the resale value is only, like, in the... 20 to 35 dollar range i mean sometimes you might be able to get a little more but in my experience it usually goes for right around this 20 to 35 bucks so no more for us not for me but also we are re-examining what a low ball offer is <laughs> and what it means to our business <laughs> yeah we used to get pretty offended <laughs> We're like, $20? We're God. like, yes. <laughs> $20. Get that thing out of my house. Yep. It's a little different now. A little bit. All right, Ralph Lauren. Because these take up a lot of room. They sure do. If you want to see our office, what it looks like, we work in a closet. Uh, there's a video called Office Tour? Closet Tour? <laughs> take a look. All right. Oh, this I? is posh as well, huh? Yes. All right, this is a pair of Kohan shoes. Oh, I want to tell you about this. Okay. I see a lot of misinformation about these. Yeah. Not Kohan, the style. And I want to, I just want to like nail it down for you so you don't have any more questions about it. Maybe we should make a short on this. We've been making shorts, so be sure to check out that on our channel. Little tidbits of information. Yes. All right, ready. Chuck a boots. This is a chuck a boot. Not a chuka boot, not an ankle booty. This is a men's chuck a boot. These are really, really popular in the late 60s and 70s. They look just like this. The piece, they're kind of like moccasin looking, but they're taller. Right, so and a lot of different uh, brands make these. Yes, and if you have a shoe like this in your closet or in your eBay store, make sure to call it what it is. It's a chuck a boot. Right. Because people are looking for these. They are. These are hot right now. Very hot. Except this one. This one was not that hot. <laughs> not hot. The style's good. Um, these ended up selling for $28 because we took the offer. I think we could have waited and got more. They're not in perfect condition. Right. And they are just like pretty, uh, what's the word? Patinaed. Worn in. They're worn in. Yeah. Man, if you can find like Fry Chucka Boots or Lucky Brand Chucka Boots. I mean, Cole Hans is a good brand. I'm not sure why these didn't go for much more but anyway now you know what a chuck -a boot is right and that's important calling things the correct what they actually are well if you want to sell it well yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay um you want to do we want to wrap these in some paper i needed that tissue paper where did that oh. extra go remember we didn't we didn't restock but it was somewhere we only have one sheet so you know what let's that's not fine. do that let's not. we're just not gonna do that i'll just put these in a cheapo poly for some protection in case they get rained on. Yes. Okay. So yeah, they sold for $28. Actually, that's pretty good. What do we pay for them? Um, 84 cents. Love that. Oh, these were bins. That's even better. Bins chuck -a boots. Bins boots. Okay. There we 
go. In the bag. They make women's checker the boots too, just so you know. I have a pair from Tori Birch. Ooh, very nice. Tori Birch checker boots. They are nice. Next. Next. Uh, anything. Uh, yeah. All right. These are the flip flops. So these are Ola Kai. We're going to show you this brand because it is I would banging call right now. A, a Bolo brand for sure. Bolo. These are very, very popular at the moment. And again, since it's Poshmark, I'm going to just leave them in this box that is way too big for them. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right. Let me get these out of here so we can show you guys what we're talking about. And there we go. It just looks like a dang flip flop. It's just looking like a dang old flip flop. But Come on in with that logo. This is the logo right here. Yeah, show that tag too. And there's your the... new tag. How much were they? Uh, it's on, the, on the tag. Oh, on the tag. Yeah. I I don't know. No, it, doesn't say. it does not oh, say. Oh, sorry, y'all. You went for a ride. Oh, sorry. dang. I it doesn't say. Uh, I paid up for them. I paid fourteen ninety one for them. Well, that's okay because they did sell for $78. Hey, I think these could have gone for more. I think so, too. But summer is on the way out, and I don't really ever turn down a $78. Somebody went throwing $78 at me for some flip-flops. Right. Wow. I know. <laughs> these are made in Hawaii. Yes. So that's good. All right. Do we some air pockets? Something? Sure. There's a whole bunch on the very top of that blue thing. I just in there. Top of blue thing. No, no, on the... Right there. Oh. A little overkill, but... They did need the length of that box, so that's good. Yeah, they're like size 12, so I think. Yeah, there's a little overkill, but whatever. It's fine. Love shipping on Poshmark. Love it. Yep. There we go. Okay, and now another pair of shoes. 4506 right here. 4506. Oh, yours is different than mine. That's okay. Not a big deal. These yes. are Sorel ankle booties. And they came from the Colorado bins. We're still selling through that stuff, you guys. It's amazing. Uh, we did figure out our cost of goods for that trip, and it ended up being, what, $1.64 uh -huh. an item? Mm -hmm. And it's because we bought a lot of shoes. <laughs> yeah, we did. But we checked, if you haven't seen our, we've done a bunch of videos on this. We checked every single thing before we brought it home from Colorado to Dallas, and we made sure that it had a sell-through rate. And so, not only was the cost of goods pretty low, we're pretty sure it's all going to sell. Yeah. All right, these are these. <laughs> these are these. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Chelsea boot. Yes. On a wedge. On a wedge. A this wedge is called Chelsea a stacked boot. heel. If you ever hear that term stacked heel, it's where these little pieces of wood are like, oh my God, you guys, I keep hitting you. Stacked. <laughs> doot, 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 doot. Okay. <laughs> okay, we gotta. What happened? Did I do it? No, no, you're good. But if Did any I part of that is it? like touching, it's it, it's not good. Okay, anywho. Yes. So these did have a little, this is called transfer. Mm -hmm. So like when you wear your jeans, sometimes the indigo dye will transfer to the top of suede shoes. So they're not in perfect condition. This little part on here is pretty indicative of a Chelsea boot, this little stretchy, you put your foot into it. Yes. Uh, and the toes have scuffs. So they're not in great condition. However, the sell through rate was so good that we decided to get them, even though they're heavy. Yep. And it's not even winter yet, and they somebody sent an offer for thirty dollars, and we spent one sixty four on it, so we took thirty dollars and felt really good about that because they were listed at fifty, but we knew that they had all these flaws. And the best part is, all the flaws are uh, disclosed, yep. and Poshmark won't allow a return. They they just won't. So if they're like, oh, this all the flaws, we everything I noted to you was noted in the listing, so we felt really good about this thirty dollar sale. Yep. And the boots are still in good condition. Yeah. They just had a, you know, they just, they loved. The boot, yeah. They got a little love on them. Okay. Did you maybe want to try a different box? 
Well, they were in this box just a second ago, perfectly. Well, yeah, because you probably had this on top. You know, you're right, I did. You had it layered. I'm trying to do it like in the Polly Miller. <laughs> there we go. No. There we go. Dream there work. it is. <laughs> Dream work. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, so yeah, these, um, I really want to tell you what the model is in case you find them. Um... I don't have it on the ticket. I just have wedge yeah. on the ticket. Here, can you want me to tell you though? Yeah. We had it in the listing. I know. That's why I was pulling it After up. hours wedge. After hours. Wanted to read the whole thing. Sorel Women's Size 9 After Hours Wedge Chelsea Booty Camel Suede Ankle Boot. Covered all the bases. <laughs> you really did. Okay. All right. Which one you got next? Pug. The Pug. Prince. Prince the Pug. We've had this guy a while. He's one of these huge Squishmallows. Uh, do a little, a little bag surgery to get the tag out. We keep these big plush in our garage and these giant bags so that you know, they get dusty or anything. Or any bugs. This is, I'm, I'm just going to read you the title again. Squishmallows. Prince the Pug Plush. <laughs> he didn't sell for a lot. 16 inches. He looks longer than 16 inches. See, there's these, once a Squishmallow is huge, it's like, I can't understand what size it is. Yeah. Because they all look huge, right? There's like a 24-inch one. It looks the same size to me. I love when they do this. I was going to tape it, no? Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> What's in a shoebox? Not that we have any here to. We don't have any here, but I you mean, don't, oh, we can put it in a, uh, in a tie back. That's not gonna fit in a tie back, sweet. No, you're right. Okay. Um. We need a shoebox. I can. I can probably grab one of these and trade it out. That's the, we need that for those, for Are sure. The, is the shoebox long enough, actually, though? We need a tester. I mean, we can... Squish it? Yeah. Squish the mellow? All right. Okay, let me see what this is. Yeah, it's going to be just fine. <laughs> this, is, this is why you guys tune in. Uh-oh, cloud steppers. Don't make me sing the song. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this thing is gonna blow. There she blew. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you just gotta go, man. Oh, the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And I've died. Success. Is it though? You're gonna have to tape cocoon this. Y'all, this thing is gonna be a busted biscuit. I'm gonna try to put these in a box. I can't. Woo. You need all the tape, all gonna, the extra. Tape. We're gonna belt this sucker a couple of times. Oh my god. Alright, these are just going in this for now because I can't. The cloud stuff was. Gosh, giving it a little belt. Oh, I'm triple, triple belting it. <laughs> you have judgments about this. Keep them to yourselves, please. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear. I can hear the, <laughs> the keyboards clacking away. <laughs> Don't make me cry. <laughs> it fits. It chips. <laughs> exactly right. God, I've got a love Poshmark <laughs> for this reason. Yes. <laughs> OK, 
today. <laughs> I need to get another yes. bag. We have two bags of Poshmark today. That's nuts. That is nuts. All right. Um, I can't believe this sold on Poshmark. The Yo Nanas? <laughs> the Yo Nanas. What is yeah. happening? <laughs> Need a baby wipe is what is happening. Didn't we just sell one of these? I feel like we sold one. I remember cleaning one. Maybe it was to list it. Okay, this is a Yo Nana's ice cream maker. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all, hard goods sell on Posh. They do. List them over there. Cross list them if you got them. Okay, let me see if I got it. Not just Yo Nana's, other hard goods as well. A large box in here. I didn't see anything down there. Okay. Use our own box. Yeah. Got plenty. We do. All right. So let's see what size box we're gonna need. At this least, thing, right? At least ten. At least ten. Y'all, if you can have bananas, we can't because we're keto. This thing makes the best ice cream. It tastes just like ice cream. You just like freeze your bananas and throw them in here. And it's amazing. Like if, if we had like a 10 by 10 by 10 or 10 by 10. Well, let me just see, shall I? Or something. What have we got? Man, Gretchen like totally roasted us the other day. Did she? Yeah. How about this one? What is this? This, this may, might work. She was like, did I just watch you go for a box for 15 minutes? Yeah. Roasted. Yeah, this will totally work. Look, I found it, Gretchen. That's for you. Hi, Gretchen's mom. Hi. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going to need some big bubble. We always keep big bubble wrap around for this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to ship it. Just gonna Can't ship be scared. It. You got to just do it. <laughs> you gonna make it? Yeah. Sure. Yo, Nana. So just because you can use USPS, this never dawned on me. I'm serious. Doesn't mean you have to. For right. Much, but you can use your own box when it's better. Yeah. Just waste your materials, but whatever. We, just, we prefer to use the priority mail packaging because it's free. But the label still shifts priority. Yes. Even if it's not in a priority box. Right. I think that's important to mention. It is. Excuse me, everybody. Should I do it another one? Uh, if you want to. This thing's not too delicate, no, but... No, not at all. Like this way, you mean? Yeah. You guys remember Tailspin? It's the best show ever. Now it's gonna be in my head. Oh, you forgot about this piece? Maybe I should take too much. No, I think it'd be okay if you can wedge it. Wedge it. You gotta wedge it. See, I leave some tape sounds in for the ASMR people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Heard that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not a relaxing ship with me. I never claimed it would be. Ooh, that's scary. Oh my god, again, shoving it. Okay. We're still on Poshmark, you guys. Is it be okay? I don't like that. Yeah. Can I see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just going in it. going in for it. There. Is that okay? 
Yeah, that's good. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're wondering about this noise free tape, it's linked down below. It's on Amazon. I bought a bunch of it on Prime. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy anything. Erone is that the word? Erroneous. Yep. I didn't buy anything erroneous on Prime Day. Sometimes I do. I buy only the necessities. You know what? I've I have yet to be impressed by something that I see on Prime Day. Right? I'm like, I have to have that. No. Well, I mean, we did get a bunch of noiseless tape. Well. <laughs> Silent tape, I guess, is what it's called. Fantastic. All right, Yo Nana's on Poshmark. Did I even tell you? I think I didn't even tell you what it sold for. Did I? Uh, I don't think so. It sold for $22. All right. And it was ours, so the cost of goods is zero. Free. I'm surprised it sold on Posh, though. Okay. Next up. Burberry. We just listed this guy. And you're about to learn what a blazer is. That's right. You got a twofer, twofer lesson. Double breasted blazer at that. Oh. Ooh. All right. So, for those of you who don't sell menswear, and maybe even if you do, and you're just not 100% sure, the difference between a sport coat and a blazer is this. A blazer is navy blue, and on very, very rare instances, black. Traditionally navy blue with gold or silver metal buttons got it that and only that makes a blazer Period. okay cool exactly right and this one is double breasted so that means it's got the two rows of buttons going yeah. down so if you look like you're gonna be the captain on the titanic it's probably double breasted yep there you go and this burberry is people say this is fake it's, it's not fake. not fake it's just older it's older, and it's not even that that vintage. So prior to the '90s, yeah. all Burberry was called Burberries. Yes. So it the, the logo honestly looks like it's probably from the '60s, but yeah. it's not. Oh, and also it has uh, peak lapels. Come on and show so, what a peak lapel is. So you get a three fur on this one. So when the lapel comes up like that to a point, here, let's bring it off of the thing so they can see it. There you go. Okay. Yes. Okay, say? That is a peak lapel when it comes to a point right here. Oh, like a peak, mountain it's peak. Exactly right. When it when this thing is cut out and it has a notch right there, that's called a notch lapel. Okay. That's the difference. All right. And uh, traditional navy blue blazers with the gold buttons they've been selling like a lot. a lot recently so if you have any to list and you're just sitting on them get them listed it doesn't have to be perfect a lot of people don't list menswear particularly people in our group they have it they find it because of your great advice but then they're scared to list it don't be scared you got to list it it's never going to sell This sold for $85 in about a week or two, yep. maybe two weeks. We just listed it live. You guys tell us. You know better than we do, probably. So what did it sold for $85? Yep. And cost of goods was $4.80. Love it. That's why we love selling menswear. Probably not there. Oh, thank you. Okay, while he's packing that up, I'm gonna move on to this Free People candy-coated corset top. I thought we would get more for this, but it's a corset top and corsets are hot right now. Corset, sorry. But we, you know, we've had it for a long time. So I took a $12 offer. It just looks like this. Some Free People is better than others and I can't really predict it to be honest. Some people are like, if it has embroidery, but sometimes stuff with embroidery doesn't do well. This is a corset, this should have done great. Could have been, it, I had a stock photo, okay, I'm not <laughs> advocating that, but I did. I'm just not sure why, I'm just not sure. Very cute. So $12 on Poshmark, and that's right. our last Poshmark. All right, 
That's the most posh wrinkly scales we've had in a long time. In a very long time. Love the Tyvek envelopes. All right. Woo! It's going to be like a four or five Ikea bag day. It seriously is. Okay, right. this is a bundle going to Ruth. Mm. I mean, this is a bundle going... <laughs> we're going in this order. Yes, we're going in that order. This is a bundle going to Naomi. Thank you so much. We're on the eBay now. Yes. Yes, we are. Uh, we have Naomi and Ruth, and a lot of you guys watching this actually, support us and buy things over the weekends, and it's really helpful to our store. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You really don't have to do that, but we appreciate it more than you know. Yes. And hopefully you're getting some good stuff that you're gonna give for gifts or whatever. Or wear for yourself. Okay. Four items, correct? This is four, yeah. Yes, okay. okay. These came in late, but we got them. Got them, we got them ready. I wanted to be able to send it all in one so that you didn't have to incur shipping twice. So the first thing is these J. Crew uh, chino shorts, the Rivington. We love selling J. Crew shorts, men's and women's. Love it. Okay. So the now I'll just give you the no I have it. Those sold for twenty one twenty one. That's excellent. These are really great everyday shorts. J. Crew can't go wrong. Okay, this soft surrounding top is beautiful. We just listed that like Friday, right? What is going on in here? Like... What is this? What is that? It has like a tape residue. Oh. What is that? What? <laughs> what is that? No. No, no, no. We will not send tape residue out. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just listed this. It's embroidered. It kind of looks like Free People or Johnny Was. Mm -hmm. And Soft Surroundings is, they're making it happen with these embroideries they look gorgeous i don't know what this is something like an iron or something maybe? i don't know it's on the inside of the shirt i just i feel like there used to be like maybe a label here or something it's like a like glue yeah weird my baby wipe attempt is well, it's coming up a little bit. Okay. Okay, well, it's on the inside. Let us know if you want to return this. It's too beautiful, though. You have to have this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at this embroidery, you guys. I swear, you it would look, it would be Johnny Was. Like, it's that detailed and intricate. It's so beautiful. Okay, so that sold. That's a good one. That one's $39.95. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then... I think these are probably gifts. These are great. This is Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt. We pick these up every single time. Nightmare, right. Before, Christmas, isn't it? Nightmare Before Christmas has a massive, massive following. following yeah. So we love these and we sell them right around now. People start buying them for Christmas and Halloween. Okay. okay and then, so the, yeah. That was 15 for the Nightmare Before Christmas, and this is a Game of Thrones long sleeve uh, shirt as well. Yep. And this one sold for $21.21. Oh, these are awesome pieces. I hope you love them all. Actually, I have them on the scale. Let's see how much. Let's see what we're at. Yeah, I think you can probably. Yeah, so can, can, we will combine these orders, and then we will refund Naomi the shipping, Ooh. the extra shipping. Dan is going to do this. I'm going to heat it up with the hair dryer. A little tight. Okay. We're going to save you some money. Don't you worry. There's air in these bags, too. Yeah. Hold on. The Ziplocs. I got to gotta pop the Ziplocs. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. 
People say that whenever they're doing this, they think of you. <laughs> I'll take it. It's working. It's working. Hopefully, I didn't just like super wrinkle everything. But. So I want to get better about telling you guys the cost of goods. Okay. So just keep reminding me. Okay. The Game of Thrones shirt we spent six ninety nine on that. Uh, Goodwill. Goodwill. Yeah. yeah. So we used to go to Goodwill, and now we don't because those kind of prices we do not normally pay. The Nightmare Before Christmas, we spent $191. The Soft Surroundings, we spent $350, which I think was a great deal for that. And the J Crew, we spent $0.99. Cents. I still, we, we have been against like going $0.99 cent shopping, but I still recommend it for men's shorts. Yeah. I still think. That's it, a pretty safe yeah. all around dollar buy men's Ooh, shorts. You got that in there. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now the next bundle is going to Ruth, and these yes. are more of these little Playmobiles that are the cutest things you've ever seen. You can't even take it, can you? I cannot. Look at these oh cats. Oh my god, the cats. She got the cats. They're the best <laughs> ones. Okay, here's this little rocking horse, which this colorway is pretty rare, I think. This is from the Victorian mansion of Playmobil. Oh. Look at these cats. Y'all, this cat comes in a basket. <laughs> okay, so this cat, look at this cat. Look how cute. Look, 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 look. You can't even take it. I can't, but, oh, okay. And then this cat, his head goes up and down. Watch. Oh, so cute. Okay, anyway. <laughs> she bought these. Yes. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you. I hope whoever is getting these loves them because I love them so much. What's on this? What's going on? Is this, is there something in our office? It's the same. It looked like the same stuff. Maybe really? Like, yeah, it spilled something around. I don't know. <laughs> All right, got that one off. Is this good for that? Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it one of these little, littles. Okay. And then we can. Put them in there. We've got more small bubbles. We get these off at Amazon. I don't know. Did we get these a little more? We got our little cat friends here. You think it's padded in there? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Great. And again, we will combine shipping on these. On the sh the bulk shipping screen, there is a button you click to do that. And then what we do is we add the all of their shipping that they paid, which we find on the all transaction screen. Dan finds it somewhere else. Anyway, we add what they paid. We subtract well, our shipping cost. The actual cost, yeah. Right, the actual cost, and then we re refund them. Yeah. We send them money. We don't do it through, like, any other way. We give them a refund of the money. Shipping, Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it says shipping adjustment is the reason. Shipping adjustment. Okay. Next up. Oh, I love this bag. Yeah, you do. Okay, when I told you that we can't keep purses, we, I don't, we don't even sell purses. <laughs> but apparently <laughs> we do. I want to look on Vendu and see. You know what I mean? Look at this beauty. So nice. Y'all, I love selling. This is my favorite brand of bag to have for my own. It's called Hobo International. And I love selling this brand. I will buy it at the bins or Goodwill. I want to show you the logo. These, these boho bags, but the quality is just incredible. Look at that. Okay. So this is called a horseshoe bag because it looks horseshoey. Okay. Hobo International Aurora shoulder bag in green fern color with shoulder strap. See how this has this horseshoe shape? Look at And you guys just can't see this embroidery. I know you can't, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful bag. Whoever is getting this is... This is the shoulder strap? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You can, it's a, it's it's a, a combo. It's a dual purpose. Very nice, very nice. That would go on my shoulder. Yeah. Okay. So, um, like, it's different when you have it like that one that goes here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what I do I... Like, can I do that? Yeah, but it should go in some kind of bubble and then in a box. Heard. Okay. Okay, so 
This, oh, I don't need to see you doing that. No? no, I don't think. If you're gonna fold it, you need to fold it like this. You know what I mean? This one, this thing's, okay, first of all, we gotta tuck this in. Okay. Oh, there's nowhere to tuck it. Right. Yeah. We need a box of flat boxes. You can't roll it like that. I'm sorry, that's just not gonna work. You can put it into like a poly mailer and like squish it a little bit. Well, it fit in this okay, let's see where it's seven. going. It's going to Fort Myers. Okay. So I don't know if a 1097 or a regional is better, but I think it's better to keep this flat. I, uh, I, think, I think it's pretty lightweight, I think, so this 1097 might be, might be just as good. Okay. Oh, I love this bag. Okay, it's sold for $70. Very dollars. nice. Very nice. There you go. Yep. Okay, what are the measurements on that? Uh, one second, please. So when you're writing the measurements, you want, because it's over a pound, you want to have the outer dimensions. Eleven point six by two point five by thirteen point four. And it's on the box as OD. One pound, 12 ounces. One pound, 12? Yep. What did I say those dimensions were? 11.6, uh -huh. 2.5, uh -huh. 13.4. Okay, that is going to cost 8.85. Oh, great. Yep. Okay, so the next thing is, we've had this a long time. Okay. This is going to Spring, Texas. All right. This is a True Blood Forsaken gift set. Is this perfume? Yeah, it's a kind of good Yep. It's like a lotion and a perfume. So yeah, we have to send this ground, and that's an option in the eBay drop-down menu. Anything that's flammable like this needs to go ground. Yep, and it needs a limited quantity label on it, which... Let me get that printed out real quick. We just print ours out from Google. Yeah, I just Google image search it and then print it from directly to my dyno. Actually. Can priority priority is not ground, right? Priority is not ground, that is correct. So I can't put it in a priority box. You cannot. All right, so the limited quantity label looks like this. That is way too small to read, of course. There we go, that's a little better. Ooh, very nice. Oh, is, I know what I'm doing. I know. We need Hold nine by five by two. I know what I'm okay. I did measure it, but okay. the height is five, right? Yeah. See all these little chewy boxes. The height is four. So, I mean, the the height is just is two. Oh, it's two. Yeah. I thought that's what. Sorry. And the chewy box should work. Absolutely. But maybe not. Let's use this one. Okay. So it doesn't say chewy on it. Nine by nine. Or, 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 eight, hey, friend. What are one of these? It's too, this one's too small. Okay, wait. I have another one. That one might be perfect. Because yeah. then you get the, yeah. you know. Okay. That would be good. How does this one look okay. good? Welcome to our channel. Oh, there, okay. We struggle with boxes. Hey. Do you need some small bubble wrap or something? No. You're just going to put it in there like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it moving around at all? 
Yeah, yeah, I need a little bit of void fill. A little bit. No, if there's an air pocket by your foot, you can give me. <laughs> Perfect. There's an air pocket by your foot. <laughs> I was gonna use this, but I'm not gonna use this. I think that box is perfect, huh? Yeah, that's great. It's like so stronger. Okay. This is long. I hope you're getting work done. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so the size of this box is nine by six and a half by three. Okay. It does cost a little more to put brown. Mm hmm. But, you know. Did you want to tape that show? It's weird. I taped all the way around it. That's good. Okay. Look a little weird. All right. Pizza Mila. The red one? Yep. Yep. All right. This is an older Summer Comfort shirt. Yes. The Summer Comfort normally does well for us. This one was older, and we've had it forever. Mm -hmm. Oh, but speaking of uh, Peter Millar shirts, there's a new, very popular one that you should definitely be on the lookout for. The Scotty Cameron uh, shirts from Peter Millar. I found one yesterday and just look them up on eBay. The sell through rate is ridiculous. It's over 80%. Um, and they're selling for a lot of money. Nice. Like one to $200, a lot of money. Ooh, and we have one. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, this only sold for $13 and it's going right down the street. Literally. I know. We could drop it off. <laughs> Eight ounces. Okay. Ooh, page two. Yes, the third oldest sport coat in our inventory. This is the Armani Collezioni, size 40 regular, regu uh, sorry, blue window pane sport coat, 100% wool. I just relisted this, and what do you know? Sweet, sweet. It's sold. Window pane is a pattern that looks like big squares, like windows. Yes. And this has a light window pane. Oh, there was a tag hiding in here too. That would have been awkward. Hmm, it's for something weird. else. <laughs> anyway, in our inventory right now, we're in the 4,000s and 5,000s. 4,000s for sport codes, 5,000 for the clothes. And this is number 218. Yep. It's like we were baby resellers when we listed this. Baby resellers? Baby ticket. Oh, no. Why does this happen? <laughs> this is annoying. <laughs> I'm over it. Uh, just, just, for, just for this one. That's good. That's good. How many more are we going to need, though, you know? Hopefully not many. I'm always with the baby wipe. I swear to God, there's something on this table. I need to clean the table. The same. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This thing has been in inventory so long, this is not even folded inside out. <laughs> Whoa. You want to bring that in? So the Armani Collezioni sounds yeah. more fancy than it is. Yeah. I just wanted to put that out there. But this is a more recent. Mm -hmm. This is what the tag currently still looks like. Yeah, it's a nice brand. Yeah. But it's not like the top of the line. No. Because normally when something says collection, yes. it's like hot, the hot tip. Right. <laughs> but this, in this case, is not. It's still good. It's still good. I mean, a new, I mean, an Armani Collezioni two-piece suit at like a Saks off fifth, like, you know, the Nordstrom rack version would still cost you probably about $1,000 to 1200 bucks. Yeah. 
This sold for 60. Going to Ohio. All right. Remember when we used to ship everything to Ohio? Yeah, we were on an <laughs> eBay, like, Ohio server or something. <laughs> everything we sold went to Ohio. We are like, oh, Ohio. What do you know? So this is probably great to stay in this regional A box. Yep. Sweet. So we ended up selling four sport coats. I'm going to give you the stats while we're doing this. Do it. Four sport coats, one, two, three bags. What's next? Um, Thank you. Wait, I need to weigh that. Oh, no, it's regional. Regional. The theory. Another sport. 43.96. And. Another one that. just recently one, listed. Two, three, four pairs of shoes. Shoes, menswear, and bags. Selling. List them. Theory men's size 40 regular, two button sport coat blazer gray pinstripe. What do you know? We sold a pinstripe. Yeah, it's not really. A, I mean, would you call this a pinstripe really though? No, that's not a pinstripe. No. I mean, I guess I saw it in the pictures. Yeah. That is not a pinstripe. No. That's why you can, that's probably why. Because you can wear this with some, with anything. Yeah. So. Love theory blazers and sport coats for women and men. Love them. Yep. They do really well for us. This sold for 30 which is right where we expected it to sell. Uh, very, very expensive retail, but the resale yeah. value does plummet a little bit. But still, if you know what to expect, it will flip. Yeah. Yeah, I think the retail on that jacket is probably like eight ninety five or something. Yeah. If you ever want to know, go into a theory store. You will be shocked. Yeah. Where's this going? Georgia. 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 Right. Regional. Yep. If you haven't learned it from us by now, regional boxes are by location. The closer a place is to you, a regional box might be in your best interest. You should check on the eBay screen, see how much it would cost. And Georgia is quite close in postal terms. In zones. Yes. All right. Travis Matthew. Where is this guy? Here we go. This is a polo shirt from Travis Matthew. It is Pima cotton. Yes, it is. Which is a special class of cotton made of Hirado Hero. And this sold for $22. This brand's pretty good. It's I've seen it do better. Yeah. It's a little bit not as good as it used to be. There you go. And of course, That's... some models are better than others. So he does a lot of collaborations. That can be quite good. It's only two bucks, though. Take it. Take it. Another bag. This is this reminds me of the La Sport Sack bag. Yeah. This is from the brand Kipling. This is not from the Colorado bin. No. Bought this? You bought this. I don't remember buying this. Absolutely. <laughs> then it must have been half of this price. I wouldn't have bought this for three bucks. I really don't think I would have. Anyway. From Canada. It's going international. These are great travel bags. They're Kipling. I'm sure you've seen them before. And if you haven't, here's what the logo. Can you hold this for me? Here's yes. what the logo looks like. Um, like that. Yeah. And they're they're nylon. Really, when we went on our cruise, we talk about this all the time. So when you go places, you should kind of shop with your eyes, see what people are wearing. And basically what we do, and I'm going to make a video about this because I thought about it earlier. You basically find out what the uniform is for that demographic of people. <laughs> this is part of the, I am 80 years old plus and I'm on a river cruise. This is part of the uniform, yep. this bag. So if you're always like, I don't know if it'll sell. Think If you've seen people wearing it, it will sell. You just have to look at the solds, make sure there are solds. This sold for twenty two ninety one, and uh, plus shipping is going to Canada. It's a great bag, neutral color. I hope they love it. Okay, since this is going international, you do kind of you do want to put it in a box, right? 
Okay, um, let's see. It's 13, 13 by 10, but I'm gonna unfold it. Something 11 by 6. In we go. Nice. Okay, this is what eleven by nine by three and a half. Okay. One pound full five ounces. Oh, there it is, label. No. Mm -hmm. I need a ticket. Oh. Sorry. All right. We got a Double D Ranch bundle. Oh, this is so good. So we bought a lot of this Double D Ranch ware from an estate sale for next to nothing. What, what are these? 555. $5 okay. And these pieces are exquisite. I want to show you the label if you don't know this brand. It is important to know this brand. Yep. 100% Bolo brand. What is this? Kentucky. Cool. Perfect. Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. I need you to hold this up. Sure. We bought, I think, 10 or 12 pieces. Really, really substantial ones. Oh, sorry. They're sorry. pretty um, colorful for the most part. This, The pieces that have sold best for us. That is one of the labels. A Good. lot of the labels look like that. Okay. Yep. Double D Ranch, some say Double D Ranch wear. Uh, it is just an exquisite brand. The quality is very, very good. And anyway, we sold the Double D Ranch size small maxi dress, black multicolor mixed media color punchy cowgirl. That's one <laughs> of the new key terms. And then the Double D Ranch size medium knit tank and maxi skirt set oh, outfit man, 90s Western cowgirl. Each one of those sold for $100 each. Yeah. So $200 total. That's right. Yes. Look at how awesome this thing is. This is knit, like a sweater, like really knit. Yeah. Okay, let's see. We're going to need to put these. I think I can fit, these will fit into this regional box very nicely. Yes. There's like dog hair on this. That's okay. There's some snags. I hope we noted that. Do we note this? I, I don't remember. Can you check? Sure. So snags like this, you can pull them back through. You can't fix them, but you can make them a lot less noticeable. Um, there's quite a few snags on this. So this is one of the issues that we have with listing is that Dan lists the stuff and I don't see it. <sighs> uh, okay, you need to take this and this because there is dog hair everywhere. Got it. We don't have the same quality control issue 
in our brains. Stay in that dude brain. <laughs> Okay, we could do this after the video. It's going in a regional box, right? Like, this isn't insane. Because I've got to thread all these things back through. Okay. The top is, the top is good. <laughs> it is. dollars for something you should get it looking pretty good not covered in dog hair all right i'm gonna have to thread these things through this is that's unacceptable okay so basically what I'll do is I'll use a needle threader and then I will thread it back through on the other side and tie a knot each time there's a snag so that it's not visible when you're wearing it. It'll still be on the inside, but it will not be visible. So we'll still be able to print the label. They're going to fit in this regional box? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. The belt buckles are next? Yep. Cool. Go. Okay. Vintage Native American chief head belt buckle. <laughs> this is not worth a ton. Do you want a bubble mailer that or put it in a little box? Uh, I think a little box. I think I have some little oh, No, I have some little box over here. I could just like jump over. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to do it again. So this belt buckle sold for $12, but it was in our death pile, so I'm happy. It sold very quickly. Yeah. I was surprised. I thought it was never going to sell, but it did. It's kind of more novelty, if you know what I mean. There you go. Lemons men's button down. Uh, we do okay with these. Yeah, sold this for came, 30. Came from the Colorado bins. Good. Yes. There we go. Try to make up for some lost time here. Trying. 
yeah, yeah. Giant steel toe Doc Martin boots. Okay, these Doc Martin sold for 50. They were Dan's old work Larry. boots or something. Doc Martin's men's size 11 steel cap toe, 10 hole boots, black smooth leather vintage. And they're not in the best condition, but you can still sell them. Pretty worn, worn down. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Big boys. All right. These are going to California. Be, I guess we're going to put them there. I mean, they're very heavy, yeah. Well, a regional would be the way to go then. Will it fit in any of the configurations of that? Um, I don't think so. I mean, a, probably a, a B, but a B might be like very expensive. I'm curious to. I'm just gonna wait and let's see. I mean, they do take up this whole box like perfectly. <laughs> But it is, oof, five pounds. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna need some kind of flat rate regional situation. Yeah. I had a regional box out here. Sixteen twelve is the regional B. You know what though? I, if we can get them into a medium flat rate, that would be what. Flat rate, medium box, 1383. Yeah, I mean, if you can find one. <laughs> I mean, I have this one. That's a wide? It's a medium flat rate, I just don't know if they're going to, if it's wide enough. Yeah, it'll work. It's it shifts, right? <laughs> We've done way worse. We have done way worse. Just tape it. So it doesn't bust. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so those sold for 50 and I think we had $15 shipping on them, so that's good. Because they're so heavy. Yep. sunglasses yep can you talk about this for a second I have to do something sure so I picked up a couple of pairs of Ray-Ban sunglasses at this estate sale these are the Jackie O2 right here there you go and most Ray-Bans will have a four digit number printed on the inside here and that's how you can look up the style I didn't have a case for them, so these came in this Dolce & Gabbana case at the estate sale. And I just put in the listing that they would come in a random case just for protection. So that's that's what they're going in. Uh, let's see. Can I fit that? And I did charge for priority mail. I think these should fit into one of these little boxes pretty nicely.
Okay, those sold for $45. I just recently gotten into selling sunglasses. I got a couple of pairs for free from my dad. And then he said, all right, well, those sold really fast. So yeah. Started picking up a few more. Is this less than a pound? What do I write for this? I think, what is this? Yeah, it's... But it doesn't matter. It's priority. You put it in a priority box. Because they paid for priority. Right, right. I'm just saying. So, like, what Seven, are... Everything the same. Seven ounces and the dimensions. Yeah, the dimensions. That's what I'm asking for. Uh, 9.5, 6.5, 2.8, 2.8, 2. Uh, just 2. It'd be nice if they just wrote what you're supposed to put in. <laughs> I know. You have to, like, round. They write all these, like, decimal places. Okay, next is a pot. Revere Wear One Quart Pot Saucepan, Clinton, Illinois, USA. Vintage, copper bottom, and clean. We don't sell a lot of this stuff. In fact, mm. I didn't even know we still had this. <laughs> and you can kind of just ship these however, you know, whatever it fits in. Yeah. It's going to New York, so... Oh my gosh, I have to sneeze. Uh-oh. It's <coughs> untied. It is under a pound, is shockingly, it? so if we can put it in the... Okay, here we need 11. Here, in this chewy box. Yes. That's a Walmart. Wait, not Walmart. Chewy box was like the best. Three. Yeah, it was like 11 by something by four. It's perfect. Mm hmm. That's so shallow. 11 by eight by four. It's going to be perfect. I mean, maybe a couple of air pockets or something. Point two. Okay. Should I weigh it? Let me take it. Oh gosh. Boom. Pumpkins! We've been at this a while. Miss the stack of stuff over here. I told you it was going to be a long one. Some people love the long videos. They really do. This Smashing Pumpkins t-shirt, it's a, it's not a single stitch or anything like that, but it's a rare colorway. Yes. With a rare design on it. Hey, and you I held, was... You held out for this I one. was holding out. Because <laughs> we had the only one on eBay. Uh, it, it sold for $50.96. Very and nice. Love I turned down for so many $20 offers. Yeah. Sometimes I just stand my ground on things. I have no rhyme or reason as to which things I'm like, nope. <laughs> I guess there is a rhyme. I knew we were the only one available in yeah. that colorway. So I was like, mm-mm. $51. Yes. Hey. This guy. Lala, summer comfort. Again. Also staying local. We just listed this. Uh, it does have some discoloration on it. I did wash it and try to get it out, but we just, uh, what do you call it, just closed it. Yep. And it sold immediately for $15, which mm -hmm. is great since it's a little bit damaged. Plus shipping. Yay. Hooray. Saved it from the landfill. There we go. All right. We did pay six ninety nine for it. Uh -oh. I keep forgetting to tell you how much we paid for stuff. It's no good. But at least, you know what I mean? This is a billabong shirt. Women's size small, white crop t-shirt. Sun your buns. <laughs> That's what it says. That's what it says. Trendy tea. That's what I put on here. 
Anyway, it sold for ten dollars. We paid fifty four cents for it because I got it at the bins for myself. Hooray! I wanted to sun my buns. <laughs> Didn't quite fit. So there we go. We we'll have a bin shirt. Yeah. This is going to an APO. Don't let it scare you. Same as a, just a regular old post office. It's the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It's going to New York. This is a Vera Bradley Hanging Organizer Pink Medallion Folding Cosmetic Bag Travel Case. We do not sell Vera Bradley very much. No. But this was nice. It looked like unused. I love a cosmetic case. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised, you know, I didn't buy it from myself. You sure you didn't? It was $1.99. <laughs> I know, I'm, I am going on a trip. I'm like, mm, what's this? Love, I actually really like this. It's nice. Because you can hang it on the door. Right, anyway. It sold for $22.91, and we paid $1.99 for it. Love it. Is this thing under? I think it might be. Oh, yeah. Oh, it weighs 13 ounces, so if we just put it in a bubble mailer of the large persuasion, which we have millions of, it should be fine. Yeah, those are like the dregs, you know. It's fine. Okay, while you're doing that, y'all, this is Drippy. Drippy. We love him. We've been waiting for him to sell for a long time. He's from a book. He's called Drippy the Runaway Raindrop, Sitting Plush Kelly Toy by Sydney Sheldon, Rare, Hard to Find. I did just relist Drippy. And then he sold for $22.91. All right, all right. And we paid $1 for good old Drippy here. Yeah. Cute. Okay. okay. Good old Drippy. Is he bubble mailer material or... He's got, he's got yeah, eyes. He's got eyes. A little, little tiny box. Yeah. Drippy. Ooh. Very cute. I don't know this book, but if it looks like this, we are definitely looking it up. That's. This is not going to go on that. <laughs> Drippy needs the other purple. Drippy needs this. See, the mouth is wider. Yeah. This is going to LA. Maybe Drippy's going to be a TV star. <laughs> Probably. Okay, the next thing is something we love selling, which are cycling jerseys, and this sold overnight. I knew I knew this one would sell quickly. Did you? I did. What, what tipped you off? Because it's just cool. The subject matter is cool. It says London on it. It's Twin Six is the brand. Cycling jersey. Men's size extra large Speedy Bike Club London. And it sold for $26.00. Within 24 hours. Yes. Love selling cycling jerseys. They have pockets on the back if you don't know what it is. There you go. Good American jeans. These used to do better, in my opinion. They're slowing down a little bit. Yeah. Good American jeans, size 26, good waist crop, step hem jeans, mid wash, new tags. I believe these are new tags. Okay, cool. Or maybe they're not new tags. You want me to take them out of here? No, it's okay. Sure. They sold for 40 Sweet. And I think they're going priority. Let me check. Good American jeans are definitely going priority. Yes. Flat rate envelope. Okay, 
Okay, while he's doing that, I'm gonna do this. This is the Zachary Prell black short sleeve polo shirt. This again, like the one we sold earlier, is Pima Cotton. And it sold for $22.91. I can show you the label. We don't really find this brand all too often. Oh. oh. Hey. You got it? Yeah. Cool. Pima Cotton is super soft. It's really high end. And, but I mean, 22 bucks for a polo shirt, I'm not gonna complain. Right. We're on the home stretch. Oh. Oof. Okay. Where's the ticket? There we go. Okay. Sensi. Oh man. Get a hard good. <laughs> this is the Santa Sensi full size warmer. It's sold for $18. We do not pick these up anymore. I know that other people do. They do sell. We hate packing them. <laughs> we hate it. Anyway, 18 bucks. It's out of our house. Yay. It is cute. Yeah. Very cute. I'm going to need some big bubble or something. I don't know what you're thinking. Making me nervous. Um, let's see what size box we need. Yeah, man. That's great. Yeah. If you have the right materials, right, packing breakables isn't that bad. You know? Yeah. If you have what you need. It is, it just tastes like one time. This stuff is not cheap. Yes, yes. <laughs> A little wide. A little wide. Yeah, we may have to. Well, let's kind of see. We may have to downgrade it. See what we can. Oh, we're gonna be good. I think it's gonna be too tall. Hold on. Oh, I need to get this. Like, yeah. yeah. All right, I'll, all right. I'll get it. it. Trust me. Oh lord. He'll <laughs> <laughs> get it. I'm, I got it. All right, you do that. I'm gonna. Oh, the next one's a breakable too. Oh. I'm gonna do the last clothes. Okay, we have this Eileen Fisher Visco Treble Top, which is amazing. So the crinkles are meant to be in the fabric. Don't try to steam them out. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Me. This one needs a ticket too. Ugh. bubble mailer because
All right, this Eileen Fisher top sold for forty dollars. Like just barely. sold this Patagonia hat. Uh, this is called the Patagonia logo trucker hat Fitzroy scope low pro sunset maroon gray. So for $22. Love that. Yeah, but it's because I took the the warmer, the tray, wrapped in little bottle bubble, and it stuck it on top there. That's why it's a little bulgy at the top. No, I'm just saying that it looks like the box is not is like gonna come apart. No. It doesn't look secure. I think it needs tape, like side to side. I did tape it side to side. I taped it this way and this way. One more. Like, see how this is, like, coming apart? I don't like that. I can, like, get in here and, like, I don't like it. Okay. Box says it was six by six by eight. Yeah, I need a little more than that. Nine, six by six by nine. We need to look at this. Two pounds, five ounces. Make sure this wouldn't be better in like a regional or something. Okay. Which we paid $1.99 for. It sold for $22. I'm, this is a play school radio. I'm gonna pack this up after I baby wipe it. It something is like rattling in here. I don't know. Vintage play school kids boombox toy select a station 1995 works. Hopefully it still works. <gasps> oh you pressed you did it. You done did it. I guess it does that mean it works? That means it works. Where's the off? There is no off. You just gotta let it play. <sighs> You're welcome. Yep. For this entertainment break. You are very welcome. Okay, hats. We go in an 8x6x4 box. You guys remember the peacock pillows that sold for $89 but I wanted to clean them and I did. They look better. 
because they sold after our break for shipping on Friday. They sold after 10 a.m., so technically we don't have to ship them till today, Monday. Wait, I have to know what this cowboy thing does. I could play with it. I could play with this all day. All right, yeah. There we go. I'm gonna wrap this in bubble wrap. I'm gonna put this tag on here. Patty got me a hat. We're dividing and conquering right now. Sure. Am. Do you do bubbles on the inside or outside? What? Do you do bubbles on the inside or outside? That's what I do too. Can I help you? had a good weekend of sales. eBay's been a little wacky. Some days it's good and some days it's not, depending on where you are. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. I think it's gonna work for the toys. Okay. What do you need for this guy? Yeah, 12 by 9. 12 by 9 by 5 is like kind of what we need. Or something around there. Radio sold for 15. Not a huge profit maker there. But, eh. Not in our house anymore. Do we need something to fill that? Maybe if you want to, a little bit, yeah. That's fine. Cool. Any more? I don't think so. 
Okay, that's good. Okay, 12 by nine and a half by six and a half. Pounds, two ounces. What? Okay. Pillows. Yep. These are these Pure One pillows. They sold for eighty nine ninety. You think that's gonna fit? You're gonna squish them. I'm gonna squish them. So this is a fourteen by fourteen by six. Let's see. <laughs> Dan seems confident. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, do we need to put these in anything? You're gonna fit two of them. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, let's put them in a poly. Okay. And then... <laughs> it's raining. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You can put them both in here, then that would be even better, right? It would. Because then you can squish it. I don't know if they're both fit in. Yeah. I really think the design should be. The design should be like this. Yeah. Well, then this is out now. Yeah. Shove it. Hang on, I got it. He's got it. <laughs> this is what you paid for, right here. That's right. Entertainment factor. Oh, man. I don't want to tear off any of these beads. <laughs> oh, that thing needs. Beads. Just give them to line up here. a little hole in it? It's going, I can hear it. <sighs> oh, this is like deflating an air mattress or a bouncy castle. That's what it sounds like. Sam is sweating over here. <laughs> the heat is rolling off you. <laughs> Thumbs up for Dan, yeah. please. <laughs> Come on now. No one else on YouTube shows you, you know, like live Wrestling action. Wrestling with pillows. This is God. entertaining. Ooh, sweating. <laughs> this is a LARP over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no, woo. busted biscuits. Hold on, uh oh, uh oh, gotta belt it. <laughs> Belt it. You better belt it on this side, too. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work. Okay. This was a, a heck of a day for shipping large things in small packages. So, for those of you that like this kind of thing, you're welcome. Yeah. That was for you. <laughs> it's not okay. These need to get these. 
You got it. <laughs> Breathe. There we go. Okay, how much a wave? <laughs> Three pounds, 13 ounces. Okay. Time to print the labels. I need a ticket for this Eileen Fisher crinkle shirt or favor. Okay. Good lord, that took forever. No. <laughs> God, it's four o'clock. I can't believe that. I know. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to stage everything up here. We're gonna see. We'll just see if it will fit. I told you guys the max in here is 40, and we I think we were at 45 today or something. So it's we're at maximum capacity here. Sorry, it's a baby ticket. Also. I figured. Yeah. I need you to figure that out. <laughs> okay. Bulk label screen refreshed. Combine orders per buyer. And go. Flat rate, padded, one ounce, one twelve, eleven point six, two point five, two point four. This has to be parcel select, one nine, two point four, two point Most of our things up here. My coffee. <laughs> Gotta get IKEA bags. Oh my goodness, we're gonna need a bunch of them today. Happy to have sales, I'm not complaining. Decisions? Huh? Do you need to talk out any shipping decisions? Um, I do not. Okay. Uh, can you give me the dimensions on the Revere Wear box? Please. Can you just shoot in? 11 and a half. Eight. Eight. Yeah, I think it's going to be five Ikea bags today. Wow. And I still have to fix that one thing. Oof. Oh, I had a makeup delivery. I gotta go get it. Before it melts.
Okay. Whew, that's a lot of layers. No fuzz on your head. Thank you. Look like an Olsen twin again today. Yeah. My this is like my state of being and my sweater is like broken. I think it makes it look couture. <laughs> Somebody asked us like, isn't it hot there? Yes, it's hot here. But it's cool in our office. So I still like to have, you know. Ready? Well, cozy layer. Here's the bundle for Naomi. There you go. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Uh, this is for Ruth. Ruth. Thank you. Ruth and Naomi. We sure do love you. Okay. This is the Hobo International Bag. Hobo. 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 Leave me alone. What the thing? Okay. The True Blood gift set. True Blood gift set. Should I just put it right next to it? Yes. Okay. The Peter Millar red polo shirt. Peter Millar polo shirt. That's TCU. Different Peter Miller. The Armani sport coat. Is it a tiny tag? Yeah. I cannot. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. The Fury sport coat. My back is killing me right now. Travis Matthew shirt. Double D Ranch. Okay. I'm going to fix that right after we turn the camera off. Belt buckle. Double D Ranch. Double D Ranch. I'm interested to see how much we made because we did have some smaller. Oh, my back. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Blue lemon shirt. Doc Martens. Remember when there was a revolt when we stopped putting labels on? Uh huh. <laughs> and I was like, no! We will not take it. We will not stand for it. That was funny. Alright, the Ray Van sunglasses. Little box right there. Smashing Pumpkins shirt. What'd you say? Smashing Pumpkins shirt. What'd you say? 
Uh, the Peter Millar TCU shirt. Interesting. What? Both Peter Millar shirts are staying in Dallas. I don't know. It, I, that's, it's a Dallas uniform, you see, like I was talking about before. Yep. So we picked them up at the thrift in Dallas because someone donated them in Dallas. And other people have that style too. Okay, the Billabong t-shirt. Oh. The Vera Bradley Cosmetic Organizer. Drippy. I love you, Drippy. I'm gonna miss Drippy. He's so cute. Twin Six Cycling Jersey. Oh my god. I don't know what's going on. Uh, the Good American Jeans. Yeah, get it. Smash it. Zachary Prell shirt. Uh -oh. Sensi. <laughs> See if this makes it. High school boombox. Pillows. Fisher Crinkle. Patagonia hat. Bag. All right. If you guys have made it and stuck around to the very end, thank you so much. Hang around a little bit longer to find out how much profit we made on all of this awesome stuff over the weekend. Woo! Hi. Hey. We broke into the thousand dollar weekend club. What? Get out of here. Yeah, it's been a while. That's awesome. So we sold 44 items, $1,700 in revenue, and $1,001 and two cents in profit. Hey, you know what? That beats the threshold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this was Friday evening, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning. Okay. That's pretty healthy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty healthy. Guys, thank you very much for hanging out with us. I know it was a long one. We really do appreciate it. And we will see you tonight at 7.30 p.m. Central, live listing on the other channel, which, as always, is linked down in the description below. Hope to see you there. Bye. Bye.